With between 28 and 29 games played of the season, the top table looks like this, with Chelsea in a seemingly unassailable lead. In the last 10 seasons, the team who sits top after between 27 and 29 games played wins the league 60% of the time. The following teams were all top with between 9 and 11 games to go and held on to be crowned champions. If 60% do, then 40% don't and these changes occurred in 2013-14, 11-12, 09-10 and 07-08. Manchester City overtook Chelsea in 2013-14, City again overtook Man United in 11-12, Chelsea overtook Manchester United in 9-10 and Manchester United overtook Arsenal in 07-08. In each of these changes, the team who was second with between 27 and 29 games played became champions, apart from Manchester City in 2013-14 who had two games in hand and came in from fourth to seize the title. In both 13-14 and 07-08, the team who were leading at the 27-29 game mark Chelsea and Arsenal respectively ended up finishing third. In both 2014-15 and 06-07, the top four after 27 and 29 fixtures remained the same. In fact, only in two years, 12-13 and 08-09, did a team in the top four after that many games drop out. Spurs and Aston Villa, respectively. Neither year saw a change in the first place though, and in both instances, the team coming into the top four was Arsenal, which might offer a crumb of comfort to fans of that club this season. If we look at Chelsea's current points per game, and that of the rest of the top four, we can see that Chelsea are by some margin ahead of the chasing pack. Indeed, Chelsea have the joint second best points per game record at this stage of any side in the last 11 seasons, and are one of only five sides to have accrued over 2.4 points per game with around 10 games of the season left. If we take the top five, excluding Chelsea, then four of those five teams won the title. The side that didn't was United in 11-12, who were pipped by a late surging City, whose points per game by the end of the season had drawn level with United's as the other Manchester side fell off the pace. These five teams also have the highest finishing points per game totals come the end of the season, with United's 2.37 the best points per game of any side in the last 10 full seasons of the Premier League. The two things to know are that Chelsea's current points per game is second only in the last 10 seasons to the extraordinary efforts of the 2012-13 Manchester United vintage and that even that vintage dropped as the season came to its climax. In fact, of the six sides who were top after 27 to 29 games, only two increased their points per game taken between then and the end of the season. Leicester City by 0.1 per game, or effectively getting a draw instead of a loss in that run-in, and Manchester United in 2010-11 by a tiny margin. Indeed, even when teams who overtook the league leaders with 10 or so games to go are factored in, only four sides changed their points per game positively. Of those, two held on to the top spot and two overtook the side above them to win the title, and only Leicester improved by a margin that translated to an extra point on the board. If Chelsea do maintain their efforts, they will record the highest points per game of a champion in the last 10 years, but trends suggest this level won't be sustained all the way to the end of the season. The United side of 12-13, the only side in the last 10 seasons to exceed Chelsea's current points per game at the same point of the season, decreased by almost 0.2 points per game, or to put it another way, dropped two points over the 10 remaining games that their previous total would have suggested they'd win. The title is Chelsea's, but one wonders if they can match Leicester in accelerating towards it. If there's a particular team or player you'd like to see featured in a future episode of By The Numbers, please leave a comment and let us know. Thanks for watching.